Can you imagine a generation growing up without music and the arts? There would be no more performers to perform, no music to be made, and no audience to listen. During economic struggles, school budget cuts seem to primarily affect the music and the arts programs. With programs rapidly disappearing, we are not only creating a generation with an unbalanced education, but we ourselves are forgetting a huge part of our culture. I can't think back to a point where music wasn't a part of my life. I do know stories about myself. For instance, there was a gentleman on our street that used to tune pianos, and he was also, years before, head of the uh, silent film orchestra in our local movie theater. And one day he went by my mother uh, in the backyard, and I was, believe it or not, tied to the clothing pole because I used to run away, and I was singing. And he stopped and he asked if I could sing some things and I guess he did some note matching and things like that. And I did perfect pitch and all that kind of stuff with him and he told my mother, you better buy a piano. So finally by 1958 they bought me this beautiful piano. I think music uh, helped me put value in my life. Uh, it showed me worlds that I didn't see around me, but I knew existed. It made me uh, aware of a culture, of a past, a history, uh, a connectedness uh, between all different kinds of people. Music is a form of communication. It's a way of speaking when words fail. Music is uh, really what makes, one of the things that makes us human. It's, um, we're the only species that somehow needs art uh, to survive, so no other animal uh, seems to worry about the idea of beauty or of um, uh, there's something uh, extra in life besides just survival. Um, and so somehow as humans, we have this desire to, um, uh, to, to understand our world at a higher level. And, uh, Art or music is one of the great ways to be able to, to do that. So it's part of what makes us human uh, to be involved in music. Music is, it's, it's how you describe your emotions. If you're angry, no matter, if you're angry, if you're sad, if you're mad, if you're happy, it all can come out through music and that's what I love about it. If there's no limit to it, there's no end to it. I think studying music is really important because uh, it's one of the great things about the arts is that it helps you to uh, understand humanity. So I think the great thing about uh, studying music is that you can understand the human condition in a really important way, um, in a way that's, that's difficult, it's a very abstract art. So the opportunity to be able to think about life and social issues through the lens of music is a, a pretty exciting opportunity. I think that music education is important to schools because it gives kids a chance to express themselves in ways other than academics. Uh, built many strong friendships with people who share the same interests as me. Music is everywhere. Um, a lot of people are really passionate about music, so it's kind of sad that the school think that thinks that's that uh, the least important thing and the first thing to get cut. Uh, it always pains me to hear about uh, lack of funding for music education because it's not lack of funding, I think it's a misdirection of funds where they could be used. If it weren't for you know, music school programs, I would be probably you know, digging ditches somewhere or in jail or something like that. You know, it's, it really was the only reason I ended up going, that I stayed in school and I eventually went to college for it. When you educate through music, you're not just teaching music, you're teaching valuable life skills. You're teaching about how to see life in a very, very special way.
There have been numerous studies that show the benefits of music education. Music enhances the process of learning. The systems it nourishes include our integrated sensory, attention, cognitive, emotional, and motor capacities are all shown to be driving forces behind all other learning. Young children who take music lessons show different brain development and improve memory over the course of a year compared to children who do not receive musical training. Musically trained children performed better in a memory test that is correlated with general intelligence skills such as literacy, verbal memory, spatial processing, mathematics, and IQ. Students in high-quality school music education programs score higher on standardized tests compared to students in schools with deficient music education programs, regardless of the socioeconomic level of the community. I've uh, got some friends of mine that work in the corporate world, and they, they specifically look for uh, people with musical backgrounds because the work ethic for those things are there. You know, no, nobody picks up an instrument and you know, plays like Buddy Guy the first time they do. They, they got to work at it. And the more you put into it, the more you can get out of it. Playing a musical instrument significantly enhances the brainstem sensitivity to speech sounds. This relates to encoding skills involved with music and language. Experience with music at a young age can fine-tune the brain's auditory system. Although declining music and art education programs within the public school systems is still a major issue, communities throughout the nation have created other opportunities for individuals to pursue their passion in music and other arts. We started the Georgia Youth Symphony Orchestra um, because there was not really a youth orchestra program in the northwest suburbs of Atlanta about eight years ago. So uh, we started the program as a way to provide uh, an opportunity for students to enhance the experience they were getting in the schools. Um, it was a way to, um, to provide uh, more full orchestra experiences for more students. Um, it was a way to buying a bunch of students from whole different schools, uh, whole, from 11 counties really across the Northwest Georgia um, uh, region um, that would come together for the love of music. So um, what makes Guy so unique is that uh, I think we're not trying to create professional musicians, we're trying to create lifelong learners of music. We're trying to um, inspire in students a love uh, for great music and for art and uh, show them ways that can become part of their life for their whole life. The Georgia Symphony has close to 400 uh, student musicians in it. Uh, it's grown quite a bit uh, by over almost 200 musicians over the, the time of its existence per year. Uh, so it's been around for about eight years now and um, the number of graduates is, is growing and growing and growing and the accomplishments that they're making as they go through college and beyond now is, is pretty exciting to track and to see. So uh, I'm very proud of the growth that the Georgia Symphony Orchestra has had over the last, over the last years. Um, I heard other people doing rock summer camps around town and I met a few of the students that had done them and I decided well, this would probably be uh, something fun for me to do and, um, and inspire a few uh, you know, kids to be in rock bands or, or just play together. Anybody can play music. They can put a little bit of time into it and, and do pretty well and, the, and if they put a lot of time into it they can do very well. The Go Farm Arts Center um, is a 12-acre um, artist community. The Arts Center here, the idea is really to bring all different areas and disciplines of the arts together, uh, create an environment and a community that uh, causes these collisions to happen amongst artists and these collaborations um, that would either sometimes never happen or take a long time to happen. They do a lot at the Go Farm to help artists and people uh, achieve their vision and, and execute what they're trying to go for by, by utilizing the people that are here. Whether you're a musician, a uh, painter, a uh, sculptor, uh, whatever. Um, it's a place for everyone. I decided to, to open a space here. Um, it's a small uh, music lesson studio and repair shop called Sound Space. 
It's a small little uh, lesson studio uh, with a lot of big ideas and big dreams. The intent is to keep it here at the Goat Farm. The community, again, here, uh, what they're doing for the arts is, is, uh, is amazing and something uh, anyone who has been here can attest to, you, you, you really fight to hold on to in any way you can. So uh, ideally Sound Space will stay here and grow here and become uh, more of a, uh, I guess a multifaceted facility for, for musicians in the community, uh, whether it's beginners, hobbyists, or professionals. It would be a place where everyone comes, uh, be it for your private lesson, your rock band program, your professional rock band rehearsal, your studio time, or repairs, or uh, whatever sort of thing um, you're interested in, to try and put a lot of different things under one roof and uh, contribute as much as I can to, uh, to the Go Farm community uh, through music. Music as well as the other arts are fundamental to who we are as human beings. Music is not only a critical learning tool that keeps students engaged in school, it also helps create well-rounded individuals. So it is important that we recognize the value of music education. Take action to keep music and the other arts alive in schools so it can be a part of every child's learning experience.